A potential customer recently asked about the method that we use to cool our spindle. We have a water-cooled spindle that has an input and an output on the top of the spindle. The cooling that we used prior to this method was just putting a regular water pump into a bucket of water and then having that be the, uh, the cooling. And that was sufficient. That was perfectly fine. Because there's a lot of water in this bucket. The bucket was able to get cool enough outside of the spindle. Now what we do is we use a, a setup like this where we have a pump on the bottom. We have a container for the water here. We mount it on the back of the gantry. There's a lot of space on the back of the gantry to do this. This particular pump we were able to find a pretty high output. We always use uh, silicone tubing for the, the transfer of the water. So you've just seen the water pumping part of the cooling system. This is the actual cooling system here, where we have the hose coming from the spindle going into the cooling. There's a heat sink and a fan that cools the heat sink. And then you have the water coming out from the heat sink back to the pump or the pump reservoir. You can feel the air coming through the heat sink. So we have an inlet and an outlet here. So the water comes into this part of the, the heat sink. There is a water reservoir in the back and we have the outlet going straight to the water container and then going to the water pump and back to the spindle. Personally, I like the, the radiator um, as opposed to a heat sink. The radiator has a standard system where the water runs through between some fins that act as a heat sink. We are gonna start offering this system, most likely with the radiator on the website once we find a, a good supplier of this equipment. So I hope this helps in understanding our wave cooling spindles and how it can maybe help you. Thank you for watching.